I know kind of a lot of things, but I don't know anything about engines or motors or whatever you call them. And what I have here is a two-stroke, or at least a part of it. Really? It's a two-stroke engine I pulled from my old uh, weed whacker. I, it, it just stopped working. I don't know what's wrong. So I delivered it to a place where they actually do services on lawnmowers and trimmers and stuff. Uh, and they said it's going to cost me around 350 bucks to get it fixed. And they kind of advised me to buy a new one. And that's what I did. As you might have seen, I bought a DeWalt one. It's unbelievable. So I just thought maybe I should just try to fix it myself. So I ordered some parts that I think might need replacing. And um, yeah, so again... Total beginner, never touched a motor in my life. I have fixed a lot of computers though, so I don't know if that's gonna help. Isn't it basically the same thing? Computer and an engine. The only difference is that this runs on gas, I guess. Maybe. Let's see if a total beginner can actually fix a two-stroke engine by themselves. Because if I can, that might inspire somebody else that doesn't know anything about engines to try. Um, and if I don't, that might inspire people to buy new trimmers. Okay, uh, roll time-lapse or whatever. Okay, so a little tip from a total amateur when dealing with needle bearings. Don't use a hammer on a needle bearing or close to a needle bearing. Because you're going to start hearing the horrible sound of these small needles hitting the floor. And if you have a pretty rough floor in your workshop like I do, it's, um, it's not going to be easy to find them all. Just a quick PSA, so uh, let's keep going. So I think everything is assembled now and the thing that remains is uh, giving this bad boy just, whoops, the paint job. I'm also gonna go ahead and repaint the whole case just to give it a nice fresh look. And when I'm done with that we're gonna assemble everything and see if this weed eater actually works. And by the way if you have any comments or suggestions what I should change maybe next time I rebuild an engine feel free to leave a comment below. I'm, uh, I'm all ears for any kind of advice because I'm really new to this and everything helps so thank you for that.
moment of truth, everything is assembled. I think it's good to go. Let's see if it works. <sighs> so after a little bit of motor starter and some blood, sweat and tears, I got it running and it runs really smooth. And it's also really easy to start. Check this out. So the moral of this story is basically if I can do it, so can you.